Hello everyone, I'm Matt Hoots with Sawhorse. Welcome to Home Talk. And in today's episode, we're gonna focus on an exciting technique called hydro dipping. And I've got my assistant, Matthew, he's my son, and we're going to hydro dip his Pinewood Derby car. So let's go over some of the materials and supplies that you need for today's episode. So I've got some gloves, and this is the, this, this way you don't get the paint on your hands. A Sharpie. I've also got some double mounted tape, and this is gonna help us dip it in the water. I've got some scotch tape, I've got the Pinewood Derby car, and we went ahead and cut the Pinewood Derby car and also put some of the spray paint on the hood. That way we don't have to wait for the paint to dry for the hydro dipping. Now, we've also got a basin here with water in it. And this is what we're going to use to actually apply the paint to the car. We've got the different colors. So Matthew, what colors did you pick for today's car? Orange. All right, so like orange spray paint. Red. Red spray paint. Green. Green. And light blue. All right, and we are we took this light blue, and like I said before, we went ahead and put this on the car earlier. That way, we're gonna cut out a decal and stick it on there in a second so we can hydro dip in. All right, so the first thing we did to get ready for this is we drew out a sword. So this sword with this X-Acto knife, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out and stick this on the hood of the car. And what's gonna happen is we stick this on the hood of the car, when we hydro dip, we're immediately gonna pull this back off and then all you're gonna see is the fun swirly colors around it and then like where the sword decal and this masking tape was put on, you're gonna see only the blue. So let's go ahead and cut this out. All right, now that we've got this cut out, Matthew, you want to, we want to put this on the car now, right? All right, so I'm going to peel this off of our self-healing mat, and look, there we have a sword. And just to remind everyone that if you guys have any questions or any questions about the supplies, you know, feel free to go ahead and type it into the comment section, we'll, and we'll answer those immediately for you. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, that's right. Don't forget to subscribe. He's got a good point. This generation knows about subscribing. All right, so we're going to carefully pull this up. And what? You, and you don't have to obviously do a sword for your project. You know, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. We've got other holidays. And what you can do is you can cut out a heart. You can cut out anything. And what this allows you to do is dip this into the solvent that we're going to use here in a second. And when you peel this off, you've got this underneath it. Now, we mentioned that we primed the car already and we went ahead and put the color that we want for the sword. So the sword was going to be blue. So what we're going to do is put this on top of the blue part of the car and then we're going to start preparing our basin over here with all the tape. Get to the exciting part. All right. So that's where you want it, Matthew? Yeah. All right. Looks good. Let's get it centered. Put it on there. All right. So now that's in place. All right, buddy. So which, which colors do you want your car to be painted? Do you want to start with the orange and the green? Or what colors do you want? Orange and red? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do orange and red. So the key to this is to spray on top of the water. Now, Matthew, stand back. Now, we're in a well-ventilated ven area right now, and I recommend you do this in your garage or even outside if you can. Definitely don't do this inside the house. I'm just going to shake these up. All right, you want some green in there too? Go ahead and take the green cap off for me. And Matthew, make sure you stand back, okay? So we're gonna spray this on top of the water. And the reason we spray on top of the water is that this is an oil-based paint. Oil and water don't mix. So this is gonna to rise to the top of the surface. And you can see it's making some colors there. And if you just let it go back a little bit, it's gonna go ahead and spread out. We're gonna add a little bit of green to this, and then we're gonna take one of our sticks and mix it up a little bit. Now, you don't wanna spray too much in here. Some of our experiments with this a few weeks ago, we put so much paint in there that it was difficult to um, see the different colors, and it just didn't look very good. We're gonna add a little bit of green now.
All right. So we've got the, got the green in there. Is that the color you're looking for, Matthew? Is that, does that look good? You like that? Grass and lava. All right, oh, it looks like lava. Is that what you're going for? You want a little bit more red? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll add a little bit more red. And some orange. And some orange. Let's get some more red over here. And some orange where the red is. All right, some orange where the red is. I think we're almost ready. So the next thing we do need to do now that we've got the, the colors kind of where we want them, we don't want to stick this directly in with our hands because it's going to stick to your hands. And the reason this is called hydro coating, we've actually created the coat right here of all the different paints and it's on the surface of the water. So when, we, when you dip it in, the key is to make sure you evenly get it on all of the parts of the car or whatever object that you're dipping it into. Now I've got the gloves here. And the reason we have this double stick tape is that we're going to put a little bit of this double stick tape on the bottom of the car. That way we can dip it in without having to worry about getting it all, all over the gloves. Because so we want this to evenly go across five sides of the car and we're not really worried about the bottom of the car. So what I'm going to do is use this piece of wood, stick it to the double stick tape, and now we've got a good service to dip this in. So as we're dipping this in, we want to make sure to stick it in on one side, roll it over, that way we get the coat all the way around. So Matthew, do you like that, the way that looks, or do we mix this up a little bit? Mix it up a little. Mix it up a little bit? Yeah. All right, so if you don't like the way it looks, you can take something, drag it through it. You can create different patterns. Now imagine if you're a barista, you're really good at this. You can do this with cappuccinos. All right, you like that color, Matthew? Th that look? A little. little bit more? I want to do some of it. All right, I'll let you mix up a little bit over here. All right, get it just right. Now, don't mix it up too much. You just want to gently go through that. All right. Is that the way you want it? Now, it's creating lots of lines in there. All right, that's perfect. Like All right, oh, that does look like a dragon. Let's take advantage of that. I'm going to stick the stick off to the side over here, and we're going to reuse that here in a second. So as we dip this in, we're going to gently dip it in on one side and roll it over to the other side. So we're going to stick it in, roll it. So once it's underneath and fully submerged, you want to take this paint and kind of mix it up off the sides, because what happens, if you don't do anything with the paint on the sides, when you take it back out of the water, it'll add another coat. All right, there we go. There is our wet car. And this is the film of the paint that was on the water, and now it's on the Pinewood Derby car. So next step is we're gonna let this dry, do a little bit more prep work, and then we'll show you the final product. We're waiting for the paint to dry in the Pinewood Derby car. I wanna go over some of the samples that we made. The first one that we ever made was an absolute mess. We probably put way too many colors in there. The mix together was very thick. So this was a very good lesson for us to learn. Some of the other ones um, turned out a little bit better. We used less paint and we make sure that the blends were a lot better. And again, these were on pre-primed pieces of wood. I suggest that you do an experiment before you take and do the final hydro coat on whatever you're trying to do. Make sure you get used to the technique. On this one, again, some silver, some black and white. Um, I think this one turned out pretty well. And this is another one that we made that was some um, black and some blue. It looks like we have blues in all these, but again, experiment with these, try them out before you try this on something, before you have to like redo it completely. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this episode. We have the final product here. The paint is dry, and we went ahead and put it on the wheels. This car is ready to win a Pinewood Derby race. What do you think, Matthew? Do you like the final colors? Yes. Was it just like you liked? Yes. All right, perfect. Good job, buddy. All right, if you like this episode, please subscribe to us. And we want to thank Home Talk for hosting us. And if you want to know all the steps and the materials to this, there's going to be a link off to the side. Thanks again, and see you next time.